We are just right on time for your session right now. So yes, for the second part of tonight's webinar, uh, we have another top tier business school in France, which is EDIC. And we have Yuti and Miguel today uh, with us online and they will introduce uh, bachelor and master program and uh, general campus life in France at EDIC. Let's work. That's right. Thank you very much, uh, Jade. Uh, so yes, as, as Jade was saying, my name is Miguel. I'm with my colleague Yu Ting, and so we will be both presenting EDEC uh, Business School and uh, its undergraduate and master's program. So I'm going to start with the introduction of EDEC Business School. And uh, yes, my colleague will join us in the second part of the presentation, my colleague Yu Ting. Um, so so thank you for uh, being here today. Uh, so yes, um, I'm gonna get started right away to introduce generally a DEC business school. So what is a DEC business school? It is a French business school, as you certainly know. Uh, it is one of the best, not only in France, but in Europe. We were ranked uh, in the top 10 of the Financial Times ranking, uh, the latest one uh, this year. Actually, it's 2021, not 2020. There's a, a little mistake, but yes, uh, uh, we are one of the top business schools in uh, Europe, and we also have uh, some of uh, uh, some of our programs ranked among the best of the world, as you can see on the screen, the third best master in management, the fifth best master in finance in the world. Um, and the BBA, which is the undergraduate program, is also very well ranked in France, number one. Uh, we do have the triple crown accreditation that uh, if you are looking into business schools, you have certainly heard about uh, them. Uh, basically only uh, around 100 business schools in the world possess them. So this makes us uh, part of an elite of business schools in the world. And so now I'm going to tell you more about uh, where a deck is located. So you will see we were located in five different cities. Um, the main campuses, though, are Lille and Nice, and this is where most of our programs will be taught. Although we do have we do have some master programs in uh, in Paris and London, and uh, also research and executive education in all of the campuses. Uh, but we will concentrate more in Lille and Nice because this is these are the biggest campuses, and this is where. Uh, uh, most of the programs are taught. So we have a uh, very well-renowned partnership uh, partners around the world. Um, so here are some examples. I'm not going to mention them all. I'm pretty sure you recognize most of the names. Uh, so just to show that we partner with very prestigious universities and uh, that uh, as part of a DEX different programs, you can opt for exchange double degrees in uh, many of these destinations. And about our locations, so our main camp, our, our main campuses, as I was saying, were Lille and Nice. Uh, Lille is uh, is the bigger one, the biggest one. Uh, it is located in the north of France, between Brussels and Paris. Uh, so that's that's was where the city of Lille is located. So it's less than an hour from these two cities. So uh, it's uh, it's very easy to access uh, to Lille. It's also one one hour and twenty minutes uh, from London. So uh, it's really at the heart of uh, the main European capitals. And uh, the the Lille campus is about 20 minutes from the city center, but you have this this rural feel because it's it's very green, it's very spacious, it has very nice sports infrastructure as you can see, uh, an Olympic swimming pool for example. It has a student residence on campus, so it's a very uh, complete campus and a very nice place uh, to study. And then we have the Nice campus, which uh, is in the city. It's an urban. Uh, modern campus located right next to the airport that you certainly see on the pictures. So it's um, it's the second biggest airport in France after Paris. And uh, yeah, the Nice campus, as I, I was just saying, is modern. It has services. Uh, it has a view over the sea. So uh, it's very uh, nice. Uh, it's a very nice atmosphere as well, keeping in mind that uh, Nice is a very sunny city in the south of France. It's in the French Riviera. So these are our uh, um, exceptional locations that we have uh, at EDEC. And now I'm going to tell you about the undergraduate program. The undergraduate program at EDEC is called EDEC International BBA, BBA standing for Bachelor of Business Administration. It is a four-year program, and we at EDEC propose two tracks, the Global Business and the Business Management track. 
The global business track is composed of one year at the DEC in Nice, and then uh, one year at UCLA Extension Los Angeles, then an internship, and then one year at NTU Singapore. And uh, with an additional internship of, of six months, we get to four years, uh, up to 14 months of internships so of professional experience, and a program taught in three different countries in three different continents. So it's a very unique program that we have at the DEC. This program is only taught uh, in English and fully in English. 60% of the students in this program are international. So to tell you more about uh, par our partners and what you do over there at UCLA Extension, you would be preparing a certificate in international trade and commerce uh, granted by, by uh, UCLA Extension. And then at NTU, you will be preparing a certificate in international management. Um, these two certificates allow you to integrate the alumni networks of these two prestigious institutions. You certainly know both of them among you know, the top 10, top 15 in the world. And even uh, NTU is number two in Asia, according to the QS ranking. For example, we have uh, Vijay Sethi, who has chosen the world's best professor, teaching our students uh, in this program. And as I said, we have two tracks. The second track is the business management track. It is also available fully in English as well as in French. In English, it will be in our little campus. And this program, you will be moving around less compared to the global business track, but you will still have many opportunities. So I'm gonna tell you about this. First of all, you have two years of business fundamentals and two years of specialization. So this is uh, one of the main advantages of this program is the possibility to specialize in different areas. We will see that later. Um, also, uh, you can also do internships from the first year and throughout the program up to 18 months of internships. And you can also go abroad, we will see how. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, the internships can always be done in any country, no matter the track, global business or business management. You have the opportunity to do internships throughout the program and you can do these internships in the location of your choice. So this uh, helps you build a very international and very, you know, uh, professional oriented path uh, within the program. Uh, so from the third year, you can specialize in areas such as tourism and hospitality management, luxury industry, entrepreneurship, banking, marketing intelligence and innovation. So as you can see, the, the range of uh, specializations that we propose is very uh, diverse. And so, yes, and these, these are the specializations available in the business management track. And then, as I just said, you can always go abroad for an exchange for a double degree uh, for the global manager certificate. Uh, so we have all these options available for the business management track students who will be mainly based in France, in Lille if they want to study in English, but who will have the opportunity to go abroad as well to all these destinations in the second or third year. So it, it will be once during the program compared to the global business where basically you spend one year in France and then you go abroad from the second year. The tuition fees for this program, uh, in business management, for the business management track, I'm sorry, uh, they are uh, 11,675 euros a year. And for the global business track, they are uh, 17,300 euros a year. So the application for the BBA happened online, unless you're in the French Lycée. If you're in the French Lycée, certainly you know that it's through Parcoursup. But if you're not in the French Lycée, in any other Lycée uh, or high school, I'm sorry, uh, you have to apply through our international platform. You apply through two sessions, meaning rounds, right? So the first round is already uh, running for the next intake um, and until January 19th and the second round uh, you can apply in March. Places tend to be more limited in the second round so I really suggest to apply in the first round if you're really interested in our BBA. And the application is very straightforward. You need an online application with the grades of the last two years of high school. You will need uh, an English test, right? Uh, for the English taught programs. And then there will be an online interview. Uh, before this interview, you have to complete the image me test, which is a personality test. Uh, but it also allows you to upload a video, for example, introducing yourself, uh, ask for referrals from friends. Uh, it allows you to also tell, tell us about your motivation your um, ex activities, extracurricular activities, uh, and all these aspects uh, 
that complement your academic profile uh, and that will complement the interview. So that's basically the admission process. Uh, what I'd like to tell you is go to our website. Uh, so when you go to a DEX website, you can choose Program BBA or Program Masters and you can go to our individual website. So in the website of the BBA, you can chat or with our BBA students. You also have this option uh, with the master students. So uh, Uting will tell you more about this. And here is my contact, my email address in case you have any further questions. So I leave the floor to Uting. And of course, uh, I can meet you for the questions uh, in a few minutes. So please, Yu Ting. So hi, everyone. Uh, very happy to be here. So my name is Yu Ting. I'm one of the international admissions managers for EDEC for the master programs for the Asia countries and regions. Um, so today I'm going to introduce you our master programs and the application uh, requirement and also the application process. And, and in the end, I will talk about um, uh, our career uh, service, service and also um, some other in, uh, services provided to our international students. So first of all, uh, at, at EDEC, we do have two main types of master degrees. One is called Master in Management. In short, we call it MIM. Uh, in French, we call it Grand Ecole. So in short, we call it G. And we have another master called Master of Science. Uh, in short, we call MAC program. So we have these two types of uh, different programs. And uh, under MIM program, we have three uh, different tracks. Actually, MIM program is uh, three, two, two to three year uh, programs. And uh, for Master of Science, it's one year program. It's actually it's more than one year, so it's it's about uh, sixteen to eighteen months long. I will start with the MIM program first. So I made some mirroring here, so you can you can read. Um, so Master in Management, uh, it's a three year program. Actually, the structure of the program is the first year we call it foundation year. And you know, at this at um, during this year, uh, our student will learn the very fundamental and the basic uh, knowledge in in finance or in management. And during the second year, we call it uh, an internship year or gap year. So actually, our students during the uh, second year they have to do a twelve month internship, where they can do six months internship or six months exchange in one of our partner uh, universities or schools. Then after the gap year, they have to return to EDEC to choose their final year specialization. So they will have to choose one of the Master of Science program as their final year specialization. So in total, the program lasts three years. And in the end, our student will acquire a MIM degree plus a MAC degree. And under MIM program, as I mentioned, we have three different tracks. Uh, first, business management, which taking place in our lead campus and MIM finance track, which is taking place in our NICE campus. And the last one is a very special one. It's called the uh, GETT. Uh, it's a global economics uh, transformation of technology. So this is um, a very special um, track. Actually, it's like it's a um, cross uh, continents program. Uh, the first semester, it takes place in our Paris campus in France, and the second semester, it will uh, the courses will be uh, will be carried on um, uh, in South Korea at our one of uh, at our partner university, Chongqingguan University in Seoul. And the last year, actually, the courses were uh, at, at taught in um, UC Berkeley. It's another one of our partners universities. Uh, so what's the special for the MIM program? So first of all, it's a uh, highly recognized uh, degree in France by the companies and by, also by the society because it's uh, called Gahan Egol. It's like um, literally saying it's like elite program. And then after this program, our student could apply one year visa extension if they wish to stay in France to look for a job. So they will have one more year uh, to go after their students, uh, their, after studies at EDEC uh, finish, they still can stay in France for one year to, to, to look for a job. And also during the gap year or uh, in the final year, our student can do uh, exchange. So they could be more international 
and they also could acquire a double degree from our partner university. And plus, uh, the gap year in the middle is really helping our students, you know, to establish their, to have some local, you know, market uh, working experience and plus some network. So this is quite very, uh, quite important to our students who wish to, you know, start a career in Europe or in France. So the gap year is really, really helping uh, here. So a master of science program, which is uh, well, one more than one year program. Actually, it could uh, at EDIC, we do provide foundation courses to, to, to master of science students. Uh, if they don't have enough you know, academic background in, uh, in, uh, of the master uh, that they're applying. So we will uh, offer them some online courses in July and August so they can start preparing themselves better to integrate student to a program in September. If our care applicants already have very strong you know, academic or professional experience uh, in related domains, normally the, pro the program start in, for them in September. And the program normally uh, will last until end of May. Uh, the studies on campus last until end of May. Thereafter, uh, our students will have to do four to six months internship. Once they finished the one and a half year study at EDIC, uh, our graduates of Master of Science program can also apply for the one year visa extension because all our Master of Science program are fully rec uh, recognized and accredited, accredited by the French government. So uh, to facilitate, to help them to find a job easily, or at least give them more grant, them more time to, you know, to, to look for job. And also one uh, very special feature of our Master of Science program is actually uh, our students under this program, if they, um, they, they study in the same uh, campus, they can choose um, uh, electives across Master of Science program. So if, for example, if you are enrolled uh, under MSc marketing program, um, actually you can choose MSc, you know, some electives uh, from the MSc law or MSc data analytics program. So it's uh, the experience could be more richful. And also our student could choose uh, six different uh, study trips uh, among all the MSc uh, students. And uh, for, for Master of Science program, actually we divide Master of Science program into two different tracks as well. Uh, one is business management track, uh, taking place in our uh, lead campus and another uh, finance track in East campus. So as you can see, all our Master of Science program are, uh, are listed here. Um, they are all taught fully in English. So we don't have master taught in French. They are fully taught in, all of them are taught in English. And uh, for the Master of Science program in business management track, um, it's taking place in our little campus, and we have a big portfolio of programs. We have MSc Strategy Consulting, we have MSc Marketing, MSc Entrepreneurship, business, uh, Creative Business, uh, Global Sustainable Business, and MSc um, uh, Data Analytics, etc. And the most of the Master of Science program, actually, they are advanced program. So normally we do require our applicants um, apply with um, relevant academic background or some uh, work experience. However, we do also uh, open door to um, applicants with very diverse background like engineering background or uh, art background or language background. We can, if they wish to study in management, they can also apply for our Master of Science in Management and Leadership program. So actually this program is more open to uh, applicants from very diverse background. The rest of them, we, the rest of other MSc, we do prefer that our applicants either have some academic background or some professional experience. And the next track um, of Master of Science uh, in this is all for finance. So we have five different MSc uh, uh, in finance domains. As you can see here, we have accounting, we have corporate finance and banking, we have financial engineering, and we also have MSc in climate change, which is about the green finance. And we also have a, a, a little bit general master program in finance called Master of Science in International Finance. So uh, this program is uh, is same. It's it's open to applicants who um, who who don't have you know really strong uh, finance background. 
Mm, they can also can they can also apply for MSc International Finance. However, we do prefer applicants um, though they don't have um, finance background, but at least they have some uh, mathematics background to apply for our uh, master in uh, finance programs. And as as uh, as mentioned, they are all taught in English. So the third type of the master degree actually it's a combined double degree. It's a combined of uh, Master of Science plus Global MBA. So actually, this program is a dual degree program as well, and it's designed for applicants who at least have three or uh, two year work experience to apply. So if they wish to have a um, Global MBA, MBA to accelerate their um, um, career, but also if they wish to have a specialized uh, master. So this program is could be a very, very good, uh, very interesting choice for them. Uh, so the first year is a master, a master of science year, and the second year is global MBA year. So if our students are enrolled into this program, they will get uh, 20% tuition, tuition fees reduction right away. And the admission requirements, so three to four years bachelor degree is minimum. Uh, I think three-year bachelor providing it doesn't exist in Taiwan, but um, nevertheless, if you have bachelor in UK or in Germany, uh, you may have a three-year bachelor. So the, the, the minimum requirement is um, you, you, you have to, the applicants will have to uh, present a transcript uh, to prove that they earn 180 ECTS credits. Uh, to apply. So if you have a four-year bachelor in Taiwan, so normally you have more than 100 ECTS. So, and also we do require CV and motivation letter or personal statement in English. And of course your academic transcript and your previous degree required. And as all our master programs are fleeted in English, so we do require uh, English proficiency test such as IELTS, TOEIC or TOEFL. And you can see the minimum score, uh, score uh, all listed here. And we also do require GMAT or GRE score. The average admitted score is around six, uh, 640 to 650. But although we do not have minimum uh, GMAT or GRE requirements, so basically in, in theory, you can apply with the uh, ending score. But of course, if, when it's too, too low, the chance of being accepted will, will be very low. And uh, we do also acquire uh, two recommendation letters, ideally one from your professional referee, one is from your professor. Uh, of course, if you have uh, some other achievement certificate or uh, internship certificate, you need to upload them uh, into your online application. So as you, as you notice that if you wish to apply, you have to go through an online application uh, on our website to create your account to apply. So the ap application process, you have to first start the online application. Once you finish the online application, we need one to three workday to um, process your application. So if you are eligible to apply, we would like to invite you for an interview search session. And the interview will be online interview. Uh, we use an uh, interview uh, application called the Cura. It's a video interview application. Mm, so our applicants normally have four to one week to complete their online uh, Kira interview. So once they complete the online interview, we normally need two to three weeks to, 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 to release the application result. And at EDEC, we do not have specific runs uh, of the missions. So we are actually we are operating on a rolling basis. So from the 1st of October each year until the end of June, uh, next, uh, the next year, uh, you can apply during, uh, at any time during this period. So once we receive your application, it will be processed. And the scholarship, it might be interested. So actually we are providing from 50% up to 35% uh, uh, scholarship reduction, which is a reduction on your total tuition phase. And uh, we are offering, actually, we are encouraging um, our female applicants, you know, to pursue their career in finance and data science, which where they were kind of like uh, underrepresented uh, in those uh, domains. And uh, be careful, we do have delightful uh, scholarship. So if you wish to apply some scholarship, just uh, make sure that you will catch up the deadline. 
Um, and if you wish to apply for scholarship, once you complete your online application, please do send your uh, scholarship application to international admissions at edu. This is our contact email ID. So before I uh, go for the edX uh, services, if you already have some question, if you want to ask me and then Miguel regarding our master program or our bachelor program, you can just raise your question in the chat box. And uh, once we finish the presentation, we will answer a question in the Q&A session. So, for, uh, so actually, uh, we are providing a wide range of services to our international students, including career services, of course, to help them to deliver their career goals and the international student office. So as an international student study abroad, of course, it will not be easy to them to you know, handle many, many stuff. So we do have a specific uh, office uh, set up to help them. And of course, and the student uh, on campus community life, uh, we also provide a lot of, actually, actually our students are very uh, proactive. They're creating a lot of so, uh, student association and clubs on campus, so our international student could also join the a student association and or uh, participate in their events. And of course, we also have three incubators for our students who wish to to create their business after the grad after the graduation or even during the studies. Uh, they can uh, they can um, request the resource from our uh, incubators. And also, um, actually, EDIC is uh, um, labeled by the campus friends uh, with uh, a label called the Bienvenue en France. So actually, this is labeled to, um, pro to prove that EDIC is providing excellent uh, services to our international students who wish to study in France. So first of all, we, uh, we have international student office dedicated to our uh, international student. Uh, they will, the international student office will help our international students to, you know, um, different uh, subjects, for example, accommodation in France, which is very complicated. Uh, our international student office will, you know, help them to find a lodgement and uh, to, um, to, 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 to solve their, um, like, uh, housing insurance or housing, housing allowance. Uh, so all the things regarding their lodgement in France, uh, international, international student office will help them. And also the international student office can also help them on um, you know, the, the, the medical insurance where uh, the bank, the phone, you know, all the administrative things in France, our international student is really essential and very helpful to our uh, international students. And of course, and we also provide uh, uh, free French courses to all our international students, although our program are free to English, but we do encourage our uh, students, incoming students, to learn French before they come to France. But of course, once they are on campus, uh, free French courses will provide will will be provided to them to help them better, you know, integrate it into the environment if they can speak some basic French. So the last but not least, I would like to mention about uh, EDIC career uh, services to our international student. So basically, we have a career center created for uh, guide our student to, you know, define and develop their career goals. So we, uh, the career center uh, uh, is providing um, different type of services to our international student. So it covers first, uh, you know, define and help them to set up their career goal or to help them to develop their career strategy. And also uh, the service could, uh, could, uh, um, could include uh, help them to prepare their uh, interviews or help them to understand the process uh, of the, re uh, the career recruitment process for specific industry or specific uh, firms. And uh, uh, of course, the Career Center is also organizing a lot of uh, online and offline events uh, because of the impact of COVID, most of them are online at this moment. Um, but uh, back to the old days, we have um, a lot of uh, online and uh, offline events. We have Finance Career Day dedicated to our finance students in East Campus. 
So this is a one week event happen, happening in our Nice campus. We invite uh, more than 60 um, top uh, uh, firms in the financial industry to come to our campus to, to recruit our students. We also have international, uh, international career day in our lead campus. Um, and of course, and uh, we also bring our students to visit some uh, companies in, in, in Berlin, in, in London, but nevertheless, because right now, uh, because uh, UK has, um, is not any uh, part of, not any part of the uh, EU, so it's a little, now it's a little bit complicated. Uh, to you know, to travel between uh, France and the uh, UK, but nevertheless, we will have a lot of uh, online events, so they don't need to travel. Uh, to travel and uh, the online events, normally we we invite the companies to come for the presentation. Where also we invite alumni to work for that companies um, to come and you know share the experience to our uh, students, how they apply to the company, what's the best practice, what will be the advice from them. So basically, this is um, uh, about our career service uh, services, and you can see here um, we listed some of our top recruiters uh, for all our master programs. And uh, I think most of uh, names I think you are quite unknown. Uh, it's very very no very, very well known in the world. So uh, in the end, I would like to um, encourage all of you to. Uh, go to our website to do a profile evaluation. Uh, this is uh, actually this is a kind of service we provide to uh, applicants. Before you submit your online application, actually you could ask a free profile evaluation on our website. You just need to give some your basic information and choose a program that you are interested in and upload your CV at transcript to 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 have you know your uh, the result of your eligibility. And also, uh, both our master and uh, bachelor programs, we have student ambassadors uh, helping our um, uh, incoming students uh, to understand what's going on on campus, what are their, you know, experience um, at EDIC. So you can go to our website to choose to chat with our current students on campus to have their insight about the school or the program. So in the end, if you have any question, Feel free to contact us uh, by email. So you can see the two email contact information for the master program and the bachelor programs are all listed here. So thank you. And this is my part. And I will we will move to the QA session. Uh, I'm good. Thank you, uh, Miguel and Yuting for your presentation. Uh, now we can move on to the QA part. First of all, uh, a lot of people must be interested about the GRE or probably GMAT score. Mm -hmm. Or MIMA program, or say, okay. so, of course you didn't. Yeah, the average mm, of score of a step of the GRE, right? I mentioned that the average score for GMAT is uh, six hundred forty to fifty. Um, for GRE, actually, GRE is around three hundred fifteen to three hundred twenty. I would say right. mm, three one five. I think it's a decent score. Um, then the next question regarding the MIM Gate program. So what's the average for the GATE program? Or oh, what's the average GMAT score of the GATE program? I would say the same, the same 640, 50, and GRE 315 uh, could, be, could be good. And the Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal actually is, um, so uh, GRE or GMAT or Taj Mahal is uh, one of them is enough. So Taj Mahal actually is more for French students because Taj Mahal yeah. is a, a GMAT, GMAT uh, uh, equivalent to GMAT, but in, it's a French version right. because it's a, it's a French test. Yeah. So normally if, uh, if you are international okay. student, I definitely suggest you go for GRE or GMAT um, unless you can, you know, you are really good in French. So right. otherwise I don't recommend the Taj Mahal's uh, test. Okay, so for guests, so uh, will it be, mm. it's, it's, a, it's going to be taught in three different campuses. Uh, will it get mm -hmm. multiple degree or it's actually? Yes, we do. We do. So actually, first, first of all, students will acquire a master degree, MIM degree uh, from EDIC Business School. Then they will acquire master uh, master degree in management studies uh, from the Chongqing Guan University, our partner university, which is the oldest uh, university in South Korea. 
And then they would also acquire a diploma from uh, UC Berkeley, the Hasbinian School. So it's a, uh, it's a diploma from the UC Berkeley. It's not a degree. So they will have two degrees plus a diploma. Uh, so our next question is also about GMAT GRE. That's, I would just put it another way. Does all the program mm -hmm. at EDEC require GMAT or GRE or Taj Mahal score? Normally, yes, especially for the finance program. Right. We do require uh, GMAT or GRE because we do need to you know, see our applicant whether they are good in quantitative. However, we do also have some, you know, for example, MSc Creative Business, LLM, you know, in law and the tax management or MSc in entrepreneurship. Okay. So those type of master, uh, we are more flex flexible. So if you do not have uh, GMAT at this moment for those program, uh, you can still apply. We will, uh, you know, um, appraise your application according to your, you know, uh, your, your, your profile. So, but of course, for finance program, you really need to have to apply with uh, with uh, GMAT score. And also for MIM program, we also do require GMAT score as well. Since we mentioned GET program, which is very popular, uh, we have another inquiry about the career development after graduation. For example, since it's going to mm -hmm. be uh, at UC Berkeley, can they also settle um in the United States after graduation or mm, this is a good question. This is a good question. Actually, um, our student who studying UC Berkeley, uh, they, they will be uh, they will benefit uh, the same career uh, services from the uh, husband school uh, as also as the alumni services from the UC Berkeley. So they basically are treated as uh, the same, you know, degree students in UC Berkeley. And uh, of course, they will also benefit from the career services from EDIC as well. But it will be online because all our, you know, uh, most of our customers are based in Lille or Nice. But however, uh, we are building with our um, American country manager office in uh, West Coast uh, of America. So actually, we do have um, school staff. Uh, based in uh, in California to help our uh, students uh, in in GET program as well as I think for the bachelor student as well I think for Miguel if you can confirm that um, they will be also you know um, supported by our local staff uh, for the bachelor degree program because they also have uh, um, the study in the UCLA extension right. That's right. Yes, we they mm -hmm. they also have our. I mean, the country manager does support them as well, and uh, she organizes also some uh, company visits, some um, mm -hmm. some other activities in in uh, California as well. Exactly, in, and also uh, for your information, if you are interested in our GATE program, um, our students after the GATE program, they are eligible to apply the. I think it's called OPT. If I remember well, it's kind of like the same like a visa extension, you know, after the graduation, they can also, they are also eligible to apply. It's up to, I think, six months or one year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's case by case. So they, they are also eligible to apply visa extension in US. So if you are considering uh, to work or multiple culture environment or after graduation, uh, multicultural experience, remember you can think about GET program. All right. We have another inquiry about a selection committee meeting. It's a, mm -hmm. So I think it's probably one of the step involved in the application and then enrollment. So would you like to explain it? So actually, uh, we, we for them, I, I suppose it's for master program, right? Where this question is for master program, where it's for bachelor. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys call it? For me, it's not quite how we call the selection committee meetings. I'm not sure it's for us. Do you call I it? Think, like, I think mainly it's for, for master. Mm. Yes, we don't we don't mm. call them like that. <laughs> okay, yes. let me check the, the question. If they missed the next, then can I still apply? So, okay, so I can explain, I can clarify this. So if you already, you know, created your account in our uh, system, so normally you are registered to uh, edit, you know, mailing uh, emails, the, the emails from us. So we, because we are actually on a rolling basis, so we have regular uh, selection committee meeting happening every month. So if you already missed some of them, don't worry, because we will have future ones. 
uh, we we send some emails just to our uh, students just to remind them that uh, you know uh, there are some of meetings already you know passed. Uh, are you still uh, interested to, to apply? But nevertheless, if you already miss someone, uh, it's okay. You can apply for the the future ones. Actually, we the selection committee meet on a regularly basis. Just we would like to see when we, will you want to apply. And uh, our final admission deadline is at the end of June. Uh, one of the application criteria would be the letter recommendation. Uh, show it be in English or in French or both? We will accept both uh, French or English and English. So could be either. Well, okay. But uh, it must be either in French or in English. It can't be in Mandarin. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the GET program. Uh, is any scholarship mm -hmm. uh, eligible for this program? <laughs> yes, um, it's a, the same, same scholarship I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's here, it's the same. You can apply one of them you know, while you know, applying, our, applying for our master program. So it's the same. And because uh, the, the reductions is based on the total tuition fees, so the gate have a higher uh, tuition fees, but if you got a 15, 20% reduction, it's also a big, uh, big discount. Who are those preferred uh, candidate for the scholarship, like when you're looking for uh, all the applications? Yeah, so actually it's uh, the scholarship section is actually is, uh, based on the merits. We do not, uh, we will not ask our students, you know, to, to, to provide if they have a financial strengths or, you know, just, just based on the merits. So basically, it's if, uh, if you have good GPA, it's definitely helping, helping you to, you know, to, acquire, to, to, to be granted a scholarship. I think the GPA, the ex, uh, academic excellence is most important for uh, scholarship application. But for the for the program, it's uh, our appraisal actually it's uh, uh, hostilic. so it's based on your overall profile. But right. for applic uh, a scholarship application, it's uh, mainly based on your GPA I, yeah. and uh, of course your your interview uh, your interview performance. Okay. I think we had just one last comment. Okay. Uh, this uh, am I? Am, I think this uh, this for the program regarding the selection committee meeting yeah, yeah for for MIMA, MIM program we we have different selection committees for finance and uh, management so but don't worry if you missed some of them uh, you can still apply for the future ones and and as i said just, just when you when you once you are ready just uh, you know complete your online application then we will put you into the next selection committee once you are ready then go go ahead. Don't don't need to worry. No worries about the you know the, 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 the specific time that you need to apply. Um, actually, um, I'm going to say here is um, yeah. Uh, although we do not have like a, you know specific uh, uh, runs to apply, but I do encourage our international student to apply uh, as early as possible because we are on a rolling basis. Actually, we have limited states. So we are giving, giving, you know, it's like first come, first gate. Right. So if you apply too late, for example, approach, approach to um, June or end of June or like end of, even end of May, we may have less, less seats left. So in this case, the section could be become more selective and competitive. Say earlier you apply, higher chance you might got a mm, mm, mm. Uh, And even for the scholarship, because yeah. we have the deadline for uh, excellence and women in finance, the deadline is end of March. So if you really aiming to, you know, have the higher scholarship, also applying earlier, it's better. Just to be prepared uh, as early as possible uh, to secure a spot <laughs> with edX. Mm, mm. And, the, uh, and also... Uh, yes, and uh, also for international students, if they you know finish their um, app, uh, enrollment earlier, actually you will have uh, more time to prepare your visa, prepare your French studies, right? Uh, and more time to prepare other things, so you are not in, in in rush. When you arrive in France, you have more time to you know to 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 chill out and uh, you know uh, better integrate into the environment because you are well prepared. Yu Ting, would you mind uh, going to the last page with your contact information mm. for us? Uh, okay, so either you can go to our website to contact us, or you can drop us email. 
course. Mm, and uh, yeah, in case you, after the events you have some questions and uh, feel free to reach out to us. Definitely. So I, I want to say good luck to all of you, right? Because you're mm -hmm. certainly preparing all these applications. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you, Campus Friends, for the invitation. And I don't know if that's anything else to add. And thank you, Yudi and Miguel, for coming up uh, tonight with us for our Taiwanese audience here and providing a lot of information uh, with their application. Uh, anything to say from Yuting? Uh, no, all good from my side. And uh, thank you, Jad, for organizing and uh, hosting the, the webinar. Um, thank you for coming. And we hope uh, today's session will help uh, our audience uh, plans and study plan. Uh, or uh, we can help you to chase your dream in the future in Europe and hope uh, we can reach each other either in person or online again. Thank yes. you for coming and thank you for enjoying. Thank, thank you. you. Have, a, good have day. a nice day. Holiday. Bye. Bye. Bye.